Hello, this is Kai. Welcome to another video in our How to Use the Terminal series. In this video, we will be going over the ifconfig command. And ifconfig stands for Interface Configurator. We'll be using this command to view our network interfaces. So first, I'll push command space to open up the spotlight search, and then I'll type in terminal. I'll open this up, and I'll zoom in. We can pass the interface name in after ifconfig to view the properties of only that inter interface, excuse me, but for now I'm just going to type in ifconfig, the plain vanilla command. We'll go up and I know that I'm using this particular interface, but if you were unsure, we would know that this is the one we're using because we have an IP address right here. This is an IP version 6 address, so it may be a little unfamiliar. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen by typing in clear this time, and we'll clear the screen. I saw that the interface name that we we're using was EN0. So this time, since I don't really need all this information right now, I'm going to go ahead and just type in IF config E and zero and we see that now we only have the properties for this interface makes working with it a lot easier we don't have to um, be distracted by all this other text up here we'll explain what all this means in just a minute but for now I'm gonna pass in another command if config I'm gonna type in the interface that I want to have affected and then I'm going to type in the command down and if I type this in we'll see that my Ethernet excuse me my Wi-Fi over here is going to go down as well because this is the configuration or rather the interface for my uh, Wi-Fi card right here so by typing in if config en0 down will essentially turn off this interface. We'll disable it. So I'm greeted with permission denied. Well, this just gives us an opportunity to use our sudo command that we've learned. I'll pass in my password. And then now we see that, in fact, my Wi-Fi has turned off. And let's say we were using an Ethernet cable or something like that, and we just wanted to make sure that this interface is down we can alternatively do another ifconfig en0 and now we see status is inactive we no longer have um, ourselves in IP address like we did over here and we don't have all the same information so let me go ahead and turn this back on by doing ifconfig en0 and then up again permission denied that was a little sloppy. I should have had the pseudo premeditated. All right. So that's how we turn the interfaces on and off. And now we'll try to demystify what some of this stuff means. I'll clear my screen by pushing Control L and I'll pass in IF config E and zero one more time. So right here, this is the MAC address for my particular device. Uh, MAC address stands for Media Access Control Address. And what this is, is a physical address associated with devices which connect to the internet. Uh, really what it means is, hey, if I have something that connects to the internet, it's going to have an actual burned in address on it, on its network interface card. Um, we'll cover this more in the future. But just know that you really can't change your MAC address because it's burned, physically burned into your device. Then next we have ourselves uh, a beautiful IPv6 uh, address right here. I'm personally not too familiar with uh, IP version 6 addresses. Um, you know, honestly, I had to... I had to figure this out by going to Chrome. I'll show you now how I figured out what my public address is. I did DNS leak test. And we'll go here. Um, 
So that's the IPv4 version. That's, so this is one way how you can find out where your IP is. Or you can say, what's my IP address? And now, of course, in a live tutorial, they're giving me the IP version 4 address to make me look dumb. But just know that this is, in fact, a IP version 6 address right here. You see it. I see it. We all see it. So what this INET address right here is, this is your private IP address. This is um, how you would identify this computer on the network. And if a lot of you aren't familiar with networking, we'll go more into detail with that. But just know that nobody in the outside world will ever see this address, usually. They're going to see your broadcast address. Or, excuse me, they're going to see your public IP address. They're, they'll see this right here. And you can actually change your IP address. It's not difficult to change it. Future tutorials, we may cover how to do so. But for now, I'm going to just keep explaining what all this is. And then we have the broadcast address right here. This is the private address of the default gateway that I'm using or the router. So if I'm looking for the router from my computer, I can just type in this IP address and this is how it is associated on my local area network. So this information is going to be really valuable in the future. Um, for now, we're going to wave our hand at a lot of details, but just know that because my private IP address is 192.168.1, whatever, this is not necessarily how I'm going to be viewed outside of my network. What happens is I go through my router in order to um, in order to go out to the net. In order to get out to any other networks, I go out through a default gateway or a router, and th that's what the public sees. They see this. Excuse me. They see this IP address. They don't see my private IP address because by default this means nothing to anybody. This is. So many computers in the world are going to have this IP address because it's a, it's a private IP address. No one is supposed to see it. Uh, I hope I didn't confuse you guys, and if I did, hopefully we can clear, uh, clarify some information in future tutorials. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, we gave a lesson on what the ifconfig command is and how to kind of like read through some of this information and comb through it. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys, and as always, uh, feedback is appreciated. Have a good one.